Welcome back, welcome back. You are still tuned in to Talk the Thing with Kim here on Fantastic Fridays on New Stock 93 FM. Yeah. All right. So if it is that you're just joining in, we're currently having a discussion about the first quarterly checkup. This is Q1 we're talking about. Are you on track with your goals? What have you been up to? What have you achieved in the first quarter? Have you so achieved far? anything? And what do you plan to do for the rest of the year? Have you, yeah, have you been like, oh, forget about them? Exactly. <laughs> right? Um, it's not too late to restart. Is the, the gym equipment where you buy? Is it still in the package? Is it still there? The yeah. gym membership where you pay for? Have it, you been going? Have you looked at the gym? <laughs> well, I said you buy a piece of vegetable. Yeah. Coming to in start with salad January morning. Mm -hmm. But after that, how oh, oh, far did the salads go? Step number one, you plan to lose weight. Did you check your weight <laughs> <laughs> to know what you need to lose? No, because I, I prefer not to know. <laughs> so if you're up, all you're going, all you're going to manage, I'm just saying, oh, I, will, I prefer I not say. to know. Right, but so far, we ex we explained understanding the importance of a quarterly check-in. Yeah. We said that allows you to be accountable with yourself, allows you to reflect, allows you to course correct, and it also re-motivates you mm -hmm. and then we're talking about assessing your progress yeah so this gives you a chance to review your goals see if that makes sense if any if adjust them if them even still valid because what if whatever you plan january not really valid now yeah march is a whole True, new you might change, yeah. you probably are uh, saying oh me did me used to like read but no me like for plant things outside mm -hmm. then you change your goal probably it's not to read 10 books by the end of the year no more probably it's to plant 10 10 tree right or 10 plants you know or so you plan to read 10 books and you find out a way you can actually get through them a more meaningful way if you listen to the books. So yeah, exactly. Read, yeah. So it depends. It depends. It, things might change. So you review the goals and then you measure your progress. So, so far you're like, all right, I have said I'm going to, you know what I did with the exercises? No, I remember telling um, someone that instead of saying I'm going to work out for the year or for six months or whatever, mm -hmm. I do it every week. Every week is a new goal. So the aim per week is to work out four to five days a week. Mm. Instead of looking at the bigger picture, sometimes it can get overwhelming. You know, because you're like, okay, I want to be consistent for the year. Right. But then you're just reach month three and you're already not doing that great. Mm. But if you break it down for per week and you say, all right, it's now Wednesday. How much days have I worked out? I worked out two. I have two more. So I mean, if I achieve two more days between Thursday, Friday, Saturday, is that it allows me to, it's more realistic. It's more manageable. And even if I do fall off, let's say I'm only the three, I'm like, all right, I did three last week. How much am I going to do? Am I going to do three again? Am I going to fall off? And that is what helped me to do the six weeks, right? As I said, really what threw me off was that I didn't have the time to create a new program. But so my advice to you, break it up break it up instead of looking at the bigger picture oh you want to have a certain weight by your birthday and your birthday about october november december mm -hmm. instead of doing that because that's, that's a big goal yeah there are lots of things going to happen in life mm -hmm. and changing life between now and then but you can more plan for a week now i say the week now i got to switch up you know I but more manageable and then they'll probably say all right i want to lose 10 pounds from uh before my birthday mm -hmm. and your birthday is 10 months away so mm -hmm. you say listen me i want to lose two mo two two pounds a month exactly yeah exactly that's baby thing you know what I'm and sometimes not even the pound because guess what pounds not easy for losing you know? yeah well true true yeah, me, you need to make the chain i remember watching some videos and i like watching these videos because it, it remind me you know to keep motivated there's this woman that was working out for a whole year and just say yo you know the first six months you never seen a weight loss yeah true so none because in that time, weight is being di weight kind of diverted. Yeah, into, into muscle, muscle and all of that. So and she said she was yeah. very, she was very um, demotivated. She was saying, you know, why is she doing this? And but she just pushed through because she said, you know, it might as well. And she said she saw a major change in six months. As in, she never seen none month one. Right. Never seen nothing month two. Actually, I think by month three she she gained five pounds. Okay. That never helped her mentally. But she was just like, you know what, might as well, because I'm already doing it, I'm just keep it up. And she said in six months, that's when she saw some major deductions and it's been going up, as in not her weight yeah. going up, been improving for her ever since. So what she said, if she did quit before the six months, mm -hmm. she'd have missed out on all this progress. And I think at the end of the year, she was down 70 pounds, right? But she never really seen a progress on the scale well, well before six months well here's also two things to consider based on knowledge that i've obtained from mm -hmm. you know hanging around people that work out and such i think first rule 
is that muscle usually apparently weighs, weighs more than fat. Mm-hmm. So, you know, sometimes you might be putting on muscle weight. I always find that confusing. It, it is. It makes because sense that fat say, really fatty. Yeah, but remember, you know, they taught us in school, mm. a pound of feather, a feather and mm-hmm. a pound of rock. Yeah. Are they the same weight? And yeah. then they're like, oh, yeah, because it's a pound. That's what they taught yeah. me mentally. So every time people tell me that, oh, muscle weigh more than fat. Mm. But I'm like, but a pound of fat and a pound of muscle is the same. They're like, no. But I said, so you're I telling know, my, my math that, teachers. It's, it's when, I'm just saying it can be confusing. I know, I know, but when you bring in the word pound, that's where it gets tricky. You, have, you can't do pound that way. You have to do it like sections of the body. Okay. So for example, a muscular arm is going to weigh more than a fatty arm. Mm-hmm. That's about the same size. Mm. That's because the muscle is more compact, fat mm-hmm. is loosey goosey. Mm. You get me? So they, when you see a man muscle hand and it buff up so, mm-hmm. that's a lot of compact muscles part together there. When it's fat now, it's just fluffy, fluffy. Well, you know what they, ch- they tell so me not, to try to, mm-hmm. to I guess, educate me or make, make it clearer to yeah. me is that the mass, yeah, the, as you said. Mm-hmm. So instead of looking at, at it as a pound of yeah, fat compared to a pound of muscle, now, you said the mass. A pound of fat could probably fill up my hand a pound yeah. of muscle is going to be half of half of that so it's not going to be the same size it's going to be different but yeah mm-hmm. i saw the thing set up and then so rule number one based on my understanding mm-hmm. muscle weighs more than fat so if you do put on a bit of mus- muscle sometimes that might throw off you looking at oh i'm gonna lose no pound may i put on weight no you have to mm-hmm. consider what is happening to your body and then step number two step number two you're not gonna lose the weight overnight. It takes time. No, not only that. It takes time. Step number two, you may not see your progress mm-hmm. as easily as it is happening. And mm-hmm. because that's we we see ourselves every day. Mm-hmm. So we don't notice the minor changes. But if you check in with somebody once a month, they will look at you and say, wait, last month you never looked so you slimmed down. And person will say these things because they're not seeing you regularly. So they mm-hmm. will see a drastic change. Yeah. Well, you see yourself every day in the mirror. So look at one, one centimeter <laughs> away, move, you're not. You're not going to notice it. It's true. And the same thing happened to us why we put on weight. Some people be like, no, after me not put on nothing. But when it comes down to month 10 now, we're like, wait, we put on yes. true. That happens, and that happens when you're working out as well. You might not notice it until about six months. We say, wait, I can actually see the changes happening yeah change or feel it in your clothes yeah but it been a happen but it's just that you just don't pay attention to the small details can you see yourself every day yeah exactly mm-hmm. so you have to measure your progress step three you have to identify obstacles yeah. step four you have to celebrate achievements and Woo-hoo! step five mm-hmm. you have to learn from setbacks all right if you've encountered setbacks or faced setbacks don't be discouraged Instead, view them as opportunities for growth and learning. Identify the lessons you've learned from your failures and use them to inform your future actions. So like for me, I said, the whole creating of a new workout program was what sort of made me fall off. Then the game plan now is to either create a longer program or keep redoing the program at least when, especially when there's less time. When I know that, okay, boy, my time very stretched right no i won't have the time to stop and create a new program then just push through with what you already have they're doing you know and then eventually when you do have time you say all right let's let's sit down now take the time create a new program because i usually get excited over new programs because i'm like all right new ways to challenge myself new ways to challenge my body am i getting stronger am i doing this you know so learn from your setbacks it's not that you're going to stop and say boy may i wait till new year again for new year new me yeah you can just start all over again right all right so big up to von i will and yes. many others check it in on the ig live uh, i see i see johanna i see sasha uh, sasha british sasha, yeah, sasha Tahira, british. peppermint pb yeah big up on yourself danzella no without god yeah i want to check in man I like it. Food. you see i want to hear your goals don't be shy you know because mm-hmm. sometimes you got somebody say, you know, say the same thing me I work towards too. So you're surprised. You and that's why that. I'm being so open about sharing mine because I know lots of people have the same goals yeah. as me. And I like to encourage or, you know, help people where I can. So wherever, wherever I'm learning, mm-hmm. I'm going to let you guys know. And I want you guys to do the same, not only for us, but for others yeah. around you, right? So after you reassess now your goals and stuff, you have to adjust the strategies. Yep. Right. So after evaluating your progress, it's time to adjust the strategies for the next quarter. So this is now April to uh, June. Yeah. April, May, June. Yeah. To June. Here are some tips for refining your approach. Number one, set smart goals. 
right so ensure if you're not sure what smart is about ensure that your goals are specific yeah. that's the s measurable that's the m achievable that's the a relevant that's the r and time bound that's the t this will provide clarity and focus as you work toward them so it has to be specific it can't be that you're going to lose weight yeah how much weight you want to lose um probably put an amount you know not just okay more i lose some belly, some, some belly fat put an amount okay i want to lose 10 pounds in you know make sure it's achievable so you're not going to put an excessive goal like 30 30 pounds in one month that's not even healthy yeah right so it has to be achievable has to be relevant and realistic because some people use relevant some people use realistic so for example um, as I've learned over time, when you're losing weight, you can't really lose in a specific area. So most people, especially women, like to say, boy, I just want to lose from the belly area. I don't want to lose none from the bottom. I don't want to lose none from the top. So I just want to lose it right there. So, But that's not how it works. Yeah, it don't work so. Exactly. It don't work yeah. so, right? It, 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 you can't decide and be like, just maneuver. Or you're just doing core workout every day and things say core workout going to work. That's not how it works. Yeah, it's a bit trickier than that, but yeah. I exactly. Mean, there are persons that, I mean, there are persons that can help you look at routines that can help you to kind of... But you're still going to lose weight in other places, places still. Over. You just need to know how to ensure that your body retains some of where you are and mm -hmm. some of where you are. And you can build muscles in those places that you lost the fat. So mm -hmm. there's a whole lot of ways to tweak it, but you have to be realistic and it has to be relevant. Yeah. And time bound. You can't just tell yourself, say, you're going to lose weight. There has to be a timeline. So give yourself, all right, I want to, probably it's not even to lose weight. I want to eat vegetable one night a week for the next three months or for this month only. Yeah. So April coming up and I want to ensure one night a week, whatever I make for dinner has to be veg only because I want to cut back on how I eat. Or I'm going to ensure, say, I don't drink any juice with dinner. I might drink juice for lunch, might drink juice sometime in the day. But for dinner, you know, it starts somewhere. It starts small. That's being realistic. That's being smart, you know? So set smart goals. Number two, prioritize your goals. Identify the most important goals that align with your values and priorities. Focus your time and energy on pursuing those objectives first. So if you have a list of goals, we usually recommend that you keep them short. You don't want to have 20 goals because something not gonna fall off yeah that's gonna be too crazy guys so you can probably start with three goals you can start with five goals i would next i wouldn't recommend you go past five right even five might be a lot but if you feel like you know you're in that motivational space then push for the five yeah but don't pass that and then what you can do as well you, you can actually set different types of goals for yeah. example you have a two probably annual goals so two mm -hmm. you want to achieve by the end of the year yeah and then you can have some little months some short-term yeah. one some yeah. monthly one yeah. a six month so that one way you know what to focus on exactly when you have 20 now you say boy you can't do 21 times mm -hmm. and you but, prioritize yeah. them what's mm -hmm. the most important Maybe in your life right now, your health is the most important. So you say, all right, I need to eat better. I need to work out more. Reading might not be at the top. Reading might be the second one. Cause you're like, you know, I want to educate my, I want to challenge my brain. I want to learn new vocabulary. I want to widen my scope of thinking. So we say, all right, probably that's number two. Number three might be, you want to go outside more often. Cause you realize that you in the house a lot, you know, so you prioritize based on what your values and your goals are. Yeah. Then number three, as I was saying earlier, break down your goals. So break larger goals down into smaller yep. manageable tasks. This will make them less overwhelming and easier to tackle. So the perfect example I gave earlier, my aim is to be healthier and fitter for the year. Right. But the year is a long time. That's 52 weeks. And I don't know what's going to happen between now and the end of the year. Mm -hmm. So I broke it down to every week. Yep. I said, you know what, Kim? The aim is four to five times oh, per week, right. minimum 30 minutes for each time that I work out. Minimum. So I feel like they're always said the fat burning stage, you get into that after 20 minutes. I realized I've gotten so used to the 15 minutes and whatever. So now I'm saying, all right, challenge myself 30 minutes and more. Probably at some point, eventually, if I get consistent enough and the 30 minutes not challenge me like one time, might say, all right. An hour and more or 45 minutes and more but don't push yourself there before you're there yeah if it can't do the 30 minutes consistently 
how we are going to want one hour <laughs> right one said one body conscious goal i intend to achieve this year is to get to 200 pounds he's currently at 186 pounds get to he said him just need a little tummy to shift to him shoulders and him arms right Young well, guess what? Make the goal smart. Yeah, make the goal smart. I mean, which which tummy we talk about? I mean, never seen one. That's what I was saying. But he has the he has the height. Mm-hmm. So yeah, but um, so he has a goal. But make sure that the goal is right? smart. One eighty six, and he's trying to get fourteen pounds heavier. I will like one eighty five, but me the tall, so you know, so me have to lose my weight. Yeah. Uh, and put it on my shoulder card. <laughs> <laughs> so break so break your goals yeah. down into smaller, more manageable tasks. And I'm telling you, you'll see more consistency. Yeah. Right? It might even be saving. Instead of saving a five grand or ten grand or twenty grand, which you know so if you put that down, you can't really manage without it. Yeah. Start with a five bills at all. As much as it looks small. Exactly. If you keep doing that consistently per week or something like that, I'm telling you. I'm sure we waste five bills or thousand dollar upon more things than than necessary. So break down the goals to smaller achievable tasks. Number four, seek support. Don't be afraid to ask for help if you need it. Yeah. Whether it's seeking advice from a mentor or enlisting the support of friends and family, having a support system can help you stay motivated and accountable. So you know, ironically, I saw this meme earlier today. And it was about this 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 person that has started their fitness journey and they message the trainer. So they message the trainer was like, Hey, can I just skip today and we just you know meet up in the morning? And the trainer said, Well, if you intend to achieve, you know, if you're okay with looking how you look now for yeah. your birthday, then fine. <laughs> yeah, do you? We meet in the morning. But if you want, you know, look a certain way for your birthday, then tell me when you're on the way. And the person respond, okay, I'm on the way. You know, something you need that support system. That's why most of you use trainers because trainers are known for that. Yeah. They will dig under yeah. your skin and they're going to push you. They're going to make you feel guilty about it and then mother also penalize you when you decide say I gotta skip it, you know? So the mother said, Alright, since you're not serious and since you never waste, you know, your time and my time, mm-hmm. them just make it harder for you the next time. And some people see it as harsh, but some people need that. Also people, especially um new persons who aren't used to the habit of fitness. So they need somebody to drill them, you know, and to be on them about it because other than that, we're gonna find every excuse. We're naturally yep. like that. Especially if Exercise is not, I mean, for some people, it's fun and enjoyment. For some, it's just because they know so they want a healthier life. Not because we love it, we just know so we want to be healthier, right? So, especially if it's not enjoyment for you, you, you need that support, I promise you, yeah. right? And then step five, stay flexible. Be willing to adapt and adjust your strategies as needed. Life is unpredictable and circumstances may change, requiring you to modify your approach. Mm -hmm. So as I said, for me, I realized that in the days, in the evenings, I would have more excuses than in the mornings, right? Because I would just wake up on my day and I really work out, however it work out. Yet in the evenings, I may have had a bad day, come home, I can't bother. May have had a sad day, come home, I can't bother. May have had a day, I just feel, "Mm, I don't even know what's wrong with me, I just feel off, you know? And I just don't work out. But in the morning, most times i'm already in the mode of getting ready for work yeah. so i just say all right since you're up on a mission mode in the morning wake up a little earlier get a 30 minute in get up and go work and it was working it really was working so you have to be willing to adapt and then the one or two days of the morning of a work or come yeah. i went to bed late or something i'm a few groggy yeah catch you eat when marie chief mr all right kim you know yourself if you get too comfy no workout now go on so you just adjust. adjust and then there's a one and two week where I never hit the goal so that never stopped me so instead of missing them two days I say yo I'm not to continue for the month yeah. it's a weekly goal so it's a weekly goal week. so Sunday again I was Friend back at Alex. it and actually I would like sort of penalize myself a bit because if I said 30 minutes, may yeah. I put your fault to come and say, Kim? Yeah, I'm going to tell myself, you know are you, are you a skip Thursday and you never have no reason you know? mm-hmm. so I guess so. I don't want to stop you we're go going to 45 minutes yeah. so it's like you have to sort of build that 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 i would say accountability within yourself yeah. as well mm-hmm. it plays a part yeah. i tell you i, I promise you it Hold plays a part right so to wrap up creating a plan for the next quarter yeah so once you've uh, evaluated your progress and adjusted your strategies it's time to create the plan now for 
April to, to June. June. Big up to the Peppermint PB in the building. Yes. Peppermint, do I go on? You have, do you have Why your goals? goals? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's just usually goal oriented, you know. So, All right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, set new goals. Based on your assessment, set new goals for the upcoming quarter. We're not saying that we have to change them. Right. Because also them, you know, we never Sometimes did them well. I will fill off. So, you just need to adjust it, mm-hmm. right? So, set new goals. Be, um, for the upcoming quarter, make sure they're aligned with your long-term objectives mm-hmm. and reflect any adjustments you've made. Number two, once again, and I tell you this is very important, break down your goals. Break your goals down into actionable steps and assign deadlines to each one. This will help you stay organized and focus on your priorities. So, as I said, for exercise, try breaking it down for per yeah. week. If it's eating better, try to choose one day that you say, all right, I'm going to ensure say, going forward, I'm going to eat vegetable one night a week. Or, you know what, I'm going to stop by juice and I'm going to buy lunch. I'm probably still not eat healthy food-wise, you know. But, but I'm not going to take the soda. I'm not going to drink no... You're cutting down. You're cutting something yeah. out. So instead of changing the whole meal, stop all of a step. sudden... You change pieces. Yeah. If it's portion is your is your struggle, so all right. If me used to take four spoon of rice when me mm-hmm. I share out my food, me go take three. You know, me go probably instead of three pieces of chicken, me go take two. Whatever it is, you break it down in smaller, more measurable tasks, and I'm telling you, it will become more manageable overall. Yeah. Number three, and this is for setting your new goals for the new quarter. Establish accountability measures. Determine how you will hold yourself accountable for achieving your goals. Whether it's through regular check-ins with a mentor or tracking your progress in a journal, find a method that works for you. So for me, I usually have friends that are like-minded. So whatever I'm trying to achieve is somebody that's trying to achieve that too. And I try to check in with them. I'm like, hey, how your progress going? Boy, may I struggle with this? And usually if I share my struggle, they can say, boy, I'm going to get that, but I did this to work around it or we realize that we're both in the same struggle and we just have to encourage each other you know so find accountability measures and maybe a person might not be your measure at least as i said write in a book yeah um some people i think what some people started doing like for working out they printed out a calendar each month and they put it on the free they put it somewhere they always see it and every day they work out they tick so that way when you come in again and you probably don't feel like it you see how much ticks you've done and you're like oh work over two weeks straight you it just you see you're literally seeing your progress and you're like oh we can't quit no my already gone so far out of the month and the month of nine day left my forgot to do it you know so find ways to be accountable to yourself number four stay committed finally commit to following through on your plan and staying disciplined in your pursuit of your goals remember that consistency is key to success so in conclusion, the first quarterly checkup is a valuable opportunity to reflect on our goals, assess our progress, and adjust our strategies for the future. By taking the time to evaluate our goals regularly, we can stay focused, motivated, and on track to achieve our objectives. So as you approach the end of the first quarter, ask yourself, are you on track with your goals? If not, don't worry. Use this opportunity to course correct and continue moving forward on your journey to success. All right, people. So see there, April to June. Naga nama. Naga nama. We are work for it. We are gonna do the thing. I am working out tomorrow. I'm gonna so talk to myself too. All the people that claim to so them, I'm like, oh no, me got up for the summer. Me got this for the summer. Summer on the corner. A three months go. away. And I like how April, May, June is before summer. So you have three months mm-hmm. to get cracking. So mm-hmm. start ball rolling. Plan all do all your planning from now between now and fr- and, and next week Friday. Yeah. Because April starts on s- Sunday. Sunday, yeah, April first, yeah. Yes. No, no Monday. Monday. Monday, April. The, the Easter Monday. Yeah. So that's not next week. You have one more week for plan. So use up this next week coming up. Oh, next week. You have one week to plan. Yeah, one week to plan. Yeah. So use that week to evaluate yourself mm-hmm. ensure that your goals make sense make sure it's things that you want and not what other people want and you want to impress other people right right 
and just work at it. All right, people. So there you have it. Thanks very much to Kimmy Kim Kim giving us our first quarter checkup. That's from January to March. How have you been doing? Have you been keeping your goals or are you on track? Yeah. And let's see how we can get back on track to become the better us for 2024. We're yeah? working on it. And you're not working alone. We're working on it with you. 